ta-da, like magic, I'm back. So, uh, apologize for the shitty quality of the video. I'm on the uh, webcam that came with the computer because Microsoft Update has officially basically made webcams on their computers for those who download, downloaded the update impossible to use on the computer. So, my nice little webcams are sitting there in a pile with the cords wrapped around them until they update it. But until then, I have the Joytech Ultimo motherfuckers. So, first off, what do I like about this tank? It has good points and has bad points. The good points are, the three coils that I've tried with it, they will give you a .5 ceramic coil and a .5 Clapton. They both perform excellent. I have right now in here a notch coil, .25 notch coil. It performs excellent. Damn it. Tasty cloud, nice size cloud. So, you know, you got a, it's a four mil capacity tank. Nice, big top fill holes, I'll show you in a minute. So, juice tastes great in it. Uh, I'm using the uh, the humble uh, ambition, the blackberry lemonade, it's at 80-20, so we get a nice cloud. So, I use this tank as soon as I got it, it became like an everyday player right away. Good vapor production, great fucking, great throat hit, everything was good about it. Not a single leak. So, are there actually bad parts? Yes, there are. There are some very bad parts for me. I don't know if it's my juice, I have a fucking thing on it, my teeth from it. So, this is the ceramic coil, and it looks better since it tried. This was completely black and charred. That is the ceramic coil. That is after less than a week. The only reason I noticed it charred that bad was because black shit started shooting out. So I said, fuck, I tried another ceramic coil. Four days, five days, same thing. And I wasn't doing anything abnormal with the vape. The Clapton, in less than an hour, you see how white this is? That's nice and white. That's how all the cotton comes on it. It just completely degraded very rapidly. The taste didn't change, the vapor production did not change, but the, I don't know what the deal is with these, but unfortunately, I can't vape it. I can't vape anything that's, you know, I'm going to have to change the coil every two days. You know, I don't know if it's the juice I'm using, I've never had any problems with my juice, but it has been sitting on the shelf for over two to three weeks, however long. I've had it for almost a month. I used it for a little over a week. And I just can't use it. It's it, that that fucking killed it for me. I looked on the review thing. A lot of people seem to really like this tank, and it seems like it's a fucking great tank. But the fact that the cotton blackens so fast on me, I'm going to. I have a notch in there now. I'm going to change the cotton, and hope for the best on mine that maybe it's just a cottony issue. Maybe they're using supposedly organic cotton. Doesn't say Japanese. Just says organic. So I don't know what kind of organic cotton this came, country this came from, but... And I tried three different juices. They all did the same thing. They're not overly sweet juices. Especially this blackberry lemonade. It is not overly sweet. So, you know, my You Got Juice did it. Never done it to another tank. This one did it. So, you know, besides the blackness, hopefully your juice isn't doing that to you and you really like this one because... It even comes with an RBA head. It is a great little tank. And I'll show you. The airflow is nice. The airflow actually has, it doesn't just spin. It'll actually stop. But you get two, and the airflow is great on it. For a tank this size, doesn't look like a hell of a lot, but the airflow is very good. The fill holes are huge, so. No problems there. You're not going to miss. You will get a little on the, the tip, and it will spit back at you a little bit if you squeeze it because it's flat to flat. So if you got a little extra, I don't have a napkin, you will get juice on you. So, now to take it apart, pretty goddamn simple. Squeeze that piece out. There you go. You would take this piece off to change your cotton, and I can see inside it's black, so it's probably completely black in there, but... And the glass would pop off if you wanted to clean it. So, overall, nice design, nice execution. 
I don't know what the fuck they do with these coils, but that completely killed. I got so excited for this. I'm like, this thing is better than the fucking Cleto. I'm getting a great amount of vapor. I'm like, this is easily, you know, an awesome tank. I was enjoying it. I was like, you know what? Joytech finally put out, because they had that Delta II that was good for about a week. And then, you know, it wasn't that great to begin with for me. And I really haven't had anything that I love from these guys. I get this, I'm like, there you go. That's the home run these they needed, and they hit it. But after the replay, they called it back. It actually hit. It did uh, missed a foul pole, so. But still, even black, I'm getting awesome fucking clouds. I'm getting that blackberry taste from the juices. It's good. I just don't want to I just don't want to vape too much anything that's fucking black. And probably get some. You get a little on your fucking teeth sometimes. It's it's not cool. So, you know, hopefully your juice doesn't do that. Mine did it. I love the tank. I love the look of it. It's very simple, you know, but that simple, nice, elegant little design they make. You know, so it is what it is. You know, uh, they use the MG series. Uh, that's what they're calling these, these round hockey pucks. The MG series coils for it. And you, the .5, that, and it has great wattage, too. The ceramic does a 40 to 80. I was hitting it at 55, 60. I was getting fucking pure, beautiful clouds until it gunked up. So this review's a mixed bag for me. The Clapton, you do a 40 to 90. I did it at 60. It performed great. It wicks great. It keeps up. Didn't get one dry hit off this guy. Now, the notch coil, 60 to 80. That's more of like an Aspire thing when you keep it in that weird range, so... Also, very fucking good flavor. Very good flavor. So overall, it's good. It's obviously 510th ready. It's $24.95. I picked it up at my vapor store. It's 2 and an eighth by 7 eighth. It's 22 millimeter tank. It's going to fit on anything. It's the average size, which is lovely. So, yeah, it's hard to do a review for something you had, you know, it came back on you like that after you fucking loved it so much. But I did buy a whole mess of coils, so I'm going to, you know, vape it sparingly, I guess. So... But I do love, like I said, if you have juice that doesn't turn this black, this is going to be an, an easy favorite in your lineup. It's just, it's, it just kicked ass. I put all the different coils in it. I didn't get a drop of juice leaking out of it. It's been a great tank. And of course, you guys know how much I love unboxing. The box came with a fill card, a warranty card, instructions, a spare glass, which I used. I broke mine. Spare glass, spare O-rings. And you get one ceramic and one collapton coil. That's what you're going to get for your 25 bucks. That's as far as it stretches. So it's hard to give this a full thumbs up, even though I want I'm, I'm still going to give it a thumbs up and hope that your juice isn't going to do that to it because it's a fucking great little tank. It's really a great little tank, and it was disappointing that, that it did that. You know, hopefully they could fix that. It could have been... Let's get this thing out to the market fast because of the, uh, you know, the uh, deadline this month or last month. Shit, that's how long I've been gone. That was last month. It's but. Awesome little tank. So, uh, sorry it disappeared between the Microsoft thing. I did plan on, I was taking a week off and, you know, that week turned into a month, I think. Because I went to go use my webcam, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, crash, crash, crash. So, I didn't want to use this thing. I figured the Microsoft would have been back up, but then I just caved. And I, I finally turned this on, and I'm like, alright, it's terrible, but it's not completely horrible. So, you know, and as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, you know where it is. It's down there. See, I forgot where it is, too. That's how long it's been. And uh, I got, what do I got coming up? Just so you guys know what I got. I got a... Uh, well, you know what? I can kind of do that now. No, I can't do that. Now. I'll do that later. Uh, what do I got? I got the uh, the Cleto, the 120 Cleto. I got the I got the little uh, baby beast over there. I got a couple other things. So that'll be coming at you soon. And uh, I'm getting out of here. My drunk at oh my drinky ass. And you guys have a lovely weekend. And Jack Sullivan, I apologize. I disappeared for so long. I didn't mean to worry you. Take it easy.